kiss good night, Sam. It was a dark and stormy night on Plum Street. In the little white house, Mrs. Bear was putting Sam to bed. Ready now, Sam? Oh no, said Sam. I'm waiting. Mrs. Bear sat on the bed beside Sam and they read his favourite book. They both knew all the words. Afterwards, Mrs. Bear pulled one side of the blanket way up high under Sam's chin and the blanket was red. She pulled the other side too, tucking it under his toes like a nest. Outside, the wind blew. Ready now, Sam? Oh no, said Sam. I'm waiting. Mrs. Bear arranged Sam's friends in the bed and they all snuggled close in the blanket that was red. Outside, the rain came down, splat on the roof, splat on the windows, and the wind blew. Ready now, Sam? Oh no, said Sam. I'm waiting. Mrs. Bear poured milk into two glasses and they both drank milk and it was warm sliding down. Afterwards, Mrs. Bear yawned. You must be ready now, she said. But Sam shook his head. I'm waiting, he said. Hmm, said Mrs. Bear. Let me think. We've read a book and made a nest, arranged your friends and had warm milk. Sam, what did I forget? You know, said Sam. Hmm, said Mrs. Bear. Book, blanket, friends, milk. Book, blanket, friends, milk. Sam waited. He waited and waited. And then at last, Mrs. Bear said, I know. Kiss good night, Sam. And she bent way down, kissing Sam once and twice and then twice more. Again, cried Sam. And she bent down, kissing Sam once and twice and then twice more. Outside the wind blew and the rain came down. In the little white house, Mrs. Bear was taking it out the light, whispering, Kiss good night, Sam. Kiss good night. And Sam went to sleep on a dark and stormy night on Plum Street. The end.